How to Make Shake Effect in Premiere Pro The first thing we need to do is add a video to the timeline. The most convenient way to search for footages is with the Viewer plugin. GIFs can be found in the Assets tab. Images from well-known resources. And the video. Using the search, let's find a video of a boxer hitting a punching bag. And let's analyze our effect on it. The video can be viewed and added to the timeline with one click. In the project window, right click. New item. Adjustment layer. The settings must match the settings of the sequence. Add this layer to the timeline. Go to the tab with effects. and choose directional blur. Add it to an adjustment layer. Go in and open effect controls. And we find the moment where the boxer hits the punching bag. Change the blur length value in the effect settings. In this situation, it will be enough to set the value to 30. Next, cut this layer one frame at a time. And after one we delete. Now we have got this effect. This is what it looks like if you look at each frame. In this situation, 3 frames will be enough. We choose the next moment where the boxer hits. Select the effect we created and duplicate it in a new location. You can do this using the Option button on your keyboard. There are two hits here and we will apply an effect to each of them. In this situation, the first moment is weaker and the second is stronger. The same thing must be displayed in the effect so that it looks natural. In the first part, let's decrease the value. and remove one frame. And in the second part, the effect will be two times stronger. It looks cool. We will now take a look at the second method for creating a shake effect. Create an adjustment layer. I'll call it crop to avoid confusion. And I add it to the timeline dot on the third track. Create another adjustment layer. And add it to the second track. Find the crop effect. And with a double click, Add it to the layer from the third track. Select the next layer and add a transform effect. Selecting the crop effect. 
and with it we create black stripes at the top and bottom. Choosing the moment of impact. On another layer in the transform settings. Create animation keys for items such as scale and rotation. Let's go back 3 frames and fix the zero values of these parameters. And at the moment where the blow begins, we change the scale. And we will change the degree of inclination as little as possible. Now we change the values frame by frame in different directions. And do not forget to return the original scale values at the end. In order to make these movements smoother, select the pivot points and right click on them. And use one of these presets. We are currently using Auto Bezier. The result is such a shaking effect during the impact. If you want to change the duration, reduce the distance between the scale keys and remove the extra rotation keys. The effect is shorter. The two methods that you saw can be combined with each other. Add an adjustment layer. Choosing the moment of impact. And find the directional blur effect. We set a value to it and do it as in the first option. We get such a strong shaking effect with smearing, 